Bruce Alexander. I am a sculptor. I like to use all kinds of different medias, but uh, sometimes stone is, is uh, especially when it's the right fit for uh, outdoor projects and all that. I've done a lot of commissions. And really look forward to someday having my children sort of wander around different cities and find my pieces still there. Were you active in the arts when you were a kid? Yeah. Yeah, uh, aspired to it, loved hitting up all the museums, uh, really just uh, was, you know, you get that extra bit of attention when you're a kid and if you, you sit there and you do the extra time in it, I mean, I see that happening in my daughter now, she works, she likes to really draw and she'll draw and other kids will say, hey, you're really good at that, getting that extra little bit of attention and it makes you feel like, you know, you it, it instantly gives you this uh, value system, uh, and so it, it gets uh, addictive a little bit. Like, gee, if I get better and better and better at this, so uh, it can really pay off for a kid in, in a sense of giving them some self-esteem and seeing something that they can accomplish and they can have some sort of control over. All I ever wanted to do was be a sculptor, and uh, spent a lot of time in the. Uh, Brooklyn Museum is one of my favorite museums, Museum of Natural History. I mean, you can see some of my influence of all the little cases just like they have in the Museum of Natural History in New York. And uh, I really couldn't find anybody that was teaching sculpture when I was a kid, you know, that you could readily bump into. What I did start doing really young was uh, over at the uh, Brooklyn Museum, they did uh, anatomy courses for artists. And I, got, I started some of those when I was about 14 and and uh, then later on I met a really great uh, anatomy instructor uh, down this way, uh, Dr. Brad Smith, and I probably took about seven years worth of classes from him. Wow. So lots, lots of anatomy studies which, you know, go hand in hand with trying to sculptures. Well, there's definitely a lot of possibilities. I, I think it's really intriguing, uh, especially when you're going to have so many people involved and, you know, having people who are strictly painters or strictly something else and coming in and, and seeing what they sort of develop out of the whole thing. Uh, because I can also see, you know, a painter can, can go to town on a lot of this, this material too. And then ultimately having it going towards uh, such a great cause in the end is something. So it's not just a typical, uh, you know, art competition. I mean, in the end, uh, you do this and you get people to really get excited about it.